Well, hello, and I hope you're doing well today. Uh, this is a follow-up to my original MSI Afterburner desktop video capture where I dealt with the problem of the hidden 3D processes that you never knew were a 3D process. Um, in this case, um, I actually have one here, probably the worst offender. You see right here, I have open broadcaster software, software running here, and I'm actually doing recording instead of streaming. And I'll do a video about that later, about using OBS as a desktop capture. It's actually a little more elegant than MSI, but in any case, we always had the dreaded problem in MSI of, of things like Dropbox showing up as an active 3D process. And here you see there's none detected when we look at the information, but I, I will note that when I started this recording on OBS, I saw a conflict in hooks and, it's, and it said, you should add this program to an ignore list. Well, you say, well, where's the ignore list? And this has a lot to do with uh, the original video, the commentary, and the help that was provided in there about, you know, what's a more elegant solution? Why do I have to turn, shut down stuff just to record a desktop? I get that. So here's the elegant way to do it. And thanks to all the users and all that who came up with these solutions and, and dug into it a little deeper, but it's really simple. Number one, when you install MSI Afterburner, you have to install the RevaTuner Reba statistics server. It has to run in the background or you won't get any of the video capture functionality to start with. But with the Reaver Statistics Server, when you start MSI Afterburner, it's going to start the Statistics Server as well. And that, that is represented by this little minimized icon, this little red and blue screen icon down here. And this is Windows 10, so things are, are a little different. Also, this is kind of an update. The last video was Windows 7, this is Windows 10, so it shows you the, that OBS and Afterburner still works in Windows 10. But there you go. When you, when you open the Windows Reva Tuner statistics server, you'll see this whole big list of all these programs. These programs are programs that are being actively ignored by the statistics server so that video capture can happen, so that nothing prevents the video capture from happening. If you have something that comes up that shows up either here in this information active 3D process or you get a warning message when you try to start your video capture program about incompatible hook or something, all you got to do is you go, you open your Revtuner statistics server here and I'll close it and go back again. I'll open it again. We'll go to this icon. Just click it. Regular click. And what we'll do is we're going to add a new program into the list. In this case, I'm going to see about, um, maybe I can add OBS. So let's go ahead and look for OBS here. And there's that. And I'm going to add OBS. Okay, see I just added OBS EXE and you see it down here. That's the open broadcasting server. I have just told RevaTuner and by extension MSI Afterburner to ignore that program if it sees it on startup and allow the desktop video capture to happen. So that's really all there is to it. Um, it's same steps. If either you get a pop-up message that says there's a problem or you see something in this active 3D process here on the info tab of Afterburner, just open the statistics server hit the plus, add the program, find the program's executable, and add it to the list, and from then on, RevaTuner will ignore it. That's all there is to it, folks, really. Um, so, I want to thank you for watching, and yes, this is Windows 10, and yes, I actually recorded this with OBS. Uh, so, look, watch for a future video uh, on OBS video and screen capture, because, well, it's actually a little more elegant and actually a little easier to set up. So, Anyway, I'm out. Thanks for watching. You guys all have a wonderful day.